When I was in school, I was taught a rule for multiplying numbers by 10. And this rule really made no sense to me at the time. For example, if I were to multiply 213 by 10, I was told, just add a zero. And I thought about that. OK, 213, if I just add a zero, don't I just get 213 again? It really made no sense. And then I realized, oh, what people really meant, no, no, no. Just write the number again and add a zero to the end of it. Just tack on a zero at the very end. That's what they meant by add a zero. So apparently 213 times 10 is 2130. OK, that makes a little more sense, but, but why? Why do you just tack a zero onto the end of the number? Is that really the right thing to do? Well, let's figure it out. So let's take this number 213. Let me draw a little picture for it. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, I guess I drew too many boxes, thousands, none, but I've got two hundreds, one, ten, and three. There's 213, and I want to multiply everything by 10. Scale that by a factor of 10. Okay, so I have two hundreds, and I multiply by 10. I guess I'm going to have 20 of those, 20 hundreds. If I've got one ten, and I multiply by 10, I guess I'm going to have 10 of those, 10 tens. And three ones, if I multiply by 10, will now become 30 ones. There it is. There's my answer to 213 times 10. It's 20 hundred, 10 t 30. All right, of course there's going to be some explosions now. In fact, two explosions here. Two explosions make a dot and a dot, leaving none behind. All right, so two explosions uh, make two dots there, leaving none behind. Uh, there'll be one explosion here. 10 explode, kaboom, make one dot here, leaving none behind. And 30. Three groups of 10, three explosions, kaboom, kabow, gazing, make three dots there, leaving none behind. So there's the answer, and it does match 2, 1, 3, 0. OK, but we didn't really tack a 0 on the end. What really happens, all the explosions shifted things over and revealed a 0 at the very end. All right, now I get what's going on. Yes, yes, yes. All the digits kind of shifted over one place to reveal a zero at the end when I multiplied by 10. Okay, I've got it now.